So today I'm going to be showing you how to make some DIY ice cream soap. So the first thing you're going to need for this is a bowl. And after you get some, get a bowl, take some cornstarch. And I'm using little right now. I might add more later. But just eyeball the cornstarch. There's not an exact measurement. It really depends on how much you're making. So once you've got that, take some conditioner, any conditioner will work. And also your conditioner will depend on how much cornstarch you have. So obviously I have a little cornstarch so I don't need that much conditioner. But just mix it up and see the consistency first. After you've got that, take some soap coloring. Now you can also use food coloring, but I use soap coloring because it is meant for soap. But I know that sometimes you don't have it, so you just use food coloring, and that's fine. So what, what you're going to do is just mix the conditioner and the food coloring first, and then slowly add the cornstarch, the cornstarch that you have and mix that as well. So what I did was I mixed first the conditioner and the coloring, and then I added some cornstarch to mix it up, as you can see. So just mix it up until it's all combined and you get a nice consistency. So as you can see, I'm just stirring it up to get all of that cornstarch well combined. So once you've done that, you can see that it's kind of creamy and not exactly the consistency you're looking for. So if that happens, then it's okay. Just simply take more cornstarch. That's it. Again, it, there's no really measurements. Just mix it up, see what it's like. If it's too dry, then add more conditioner. But this one was too wet, so I'm just adding a little bit more cornstarch. And just mix it. So after you've mixed it, thoroughly with a skewer. Use your hands to mix it because this will help it combine um, a little bit more and you can even, f you will be able to feel the consistency. So as you can see, it's like kind of sticking to my hands, but it is a good texture. As I combine it, you, I can see that it's, I'm, I can see that it's like a nice clay type. So just keep mixing it until you get a consistency that you like. You want it to be kind of clayish. So this is what I got. I got a nice um, kind of Play-Doh like. But I'm going to be adding more because this obviously won't be enough to do a ice cream. And then I'm adding more conditioner and simply adding it to the clay to have it well combined. And you can use more color if you want, but I think it's fine the color that it is. So once you've got it, the clay um, material and the amount you want, take some shampoo, and you don't need that much, but just take a good amount and just mix it in your, with your clay. Um, if it becomes too wet, then simply add more cornstarch, but it shouldn't it just become... A little wet but if you combine it a lot then it should become more of a clay type consistency so what I actually did was added more cornstarch because it was adding acting a little bit more wet than I wanted to but after I've done that I mean it's a perfect like ice cream consistency that you want and after you've got that you need a, a little bit more um, this won't be enough, but what I did was I simply made some pink um, clay before, so I'm just going to combine it. This is totally optional. You can just make more of a solid color, but I'm just mixing it with my pink clay to make kind of a cotton candy kind of color because I want it to be like cotton candy ice cream. So yeah, just mix it until it's well combined. Don't mix it too much or else it's going to become like purple, obviously, but I'm just going to mix it enough so that it's kind of purplish, but at the same time, it's, um, you can still see the marble effect. So, 
after you've got the clay you want, you're going to take a container. Now this can be any type of container. I'm taking the cold stone container that I had my ice cream in and just washing it after, you know, you're done with ice cream, just wash it out. And once you've got that, take your clay and pretty much what you're going to do is fill a ice cream container up. So what I did here was you just take a random amount of um, of ice cream and just put it in there. You don't, it can be super messy, just put some some ice cream in there because you're not going to see the bottom, just the top. So the top has to be perfect, but the bottom can be really messy because you're not going to like see the bottom that much. So what you're going to do is just kind of put it in an ice cream scoop and try like pulling it out of it so that you kind of get the scoop, get like a scoop of ice cream. And once you've done that, place it in there wherever you need it or you want it to be. So I'm just placing it to the side like so and just going to take the rest of your ice cream and scoop it in there again. So once you've got that, you're done. You've got this really cool ice cream clay that um, is not only an ice cream, but it's also soap. So you can put it in the bathroom and it's a nice bathroom decor to have. So this is how it looks. So just I'm just taking some. So I'm just taking some clay and washing it. So you can kind of see the bubbles and how it's cleaning my hands. So thanks for watching. Please comment, like, and subscribe.